Hello. Welcome to a beautiful Virginia day. Uh, there's less and less things that I have to do these days. On day three by now. Wow, day three, huh? <laughs> Can't tell if it's fast or slow, if I've been here for my whole life or if I just got here. Uh, yep, just went to the post office after a morning at Planet Fitness. Not really working out, just stretching and eating protein and writing, charging my phone. And, uh, yep, sent a Christmas present to my brother. Hope you enjoyed it. By the time I edit this and put it on YouTube, I'll be enjoying the gift too, so hey, that's vibes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the gym, Neutral Corner Boxing, opens at 3 p.m. every day, except Sunday, so just passing time till then. My legs are sore as all hell, like so sore, but it's all I can work right now because my hand isn't completely better yet, though, like I said. It gets better very much every single day. So I'm just going to kill my legs for like a week or two and then, then I'll focus mostly on arms for as much as I can. So I'm just going to go skating. I'll take you guys with me for this. Uh, I'll camera it. But mostly I just wanted to show you guys my house. <laughs> you know, this is the, the lakefront. We got some fountains, some exotic waterfowl, and a beautiful view all around. Just flexing on you. <laughs> Alright y'all, skate on. Oh, we got a squirrel. Two squirrels. There's mad squirrels out here. You wanna go say hi to them? Hey, squirrely. You wanna be friends? We could be friends. Hey. All right. <laughs> Don't wanna freak them out, but actually, got super close to them. Back at home, they'd be scurrying. All right, so now I'm just gonna take you around some, uh, some of Winchester gonna be fun trying to cross these streets it's pretty busy out here right now my emphasis is on safety not fun so I will not take any crazy hills nothing too risky because I cannot cannot risk falling on this hand prolonging my injury but let's have some fun shall we your boys a professional jaywalker I'd be sprinting out these streets <laughs> Really cool how everything in my life is kind of connected into this one place, Winchester and Canterbury. I actually have a friend who I met in Connecticut who uh, lives in Winchester. She actually lives right down this road from me. But alas, uh, she's pretty high risk and so is her mother, so cannot really risk passing on the Rona to her. So will not visit, but I'm sure she can feel my aura or some shit like that. <laughs> Spotted a nice one. Found an alternate ending for that same hill. Gonna take it and try to steer it down here. Now I've come to a, a mental crossroads as, as well as a physical one. <laughs> There's four good hills, or three good hills, in every single direction. I have no idea if I should take them or not. This is a semi-busy road, but it's got real smooth concrete. It might be just a little bit too busy, but if I do any hill, this is probably the only safe one. So 
I'll check it out. But like I said, I also don't want to go too fast. I'm very sore in the legs, so I probably have less control than normal, as well as making sure I don't get hurt. This would be Longboard Kingdom if I had it. Only reason I didn't bring it though is because it's harder to control the board. Like if I need to stop or jump off, the board just kind of does whatever it wants. But this one, still, uh, still fast, still good for hills, but I can uh, kind of steer it off the road and jump if I need. Couldn't have pulled that off on a longboard. Nonetheless, these roads weren't busy. Like if I went night skating out here with the longboard, oh, it would be so perfect. All right, my exploration mission was successful, safe, and fun. And uh, now I'm back at what I would call my home, one of my homes, Jim Barnett Park. Now I already recorded me skating down the hills, but I parked my car at the very end of the park, so I, I have to take these hills anyway, so I'm just going to take you guys with me for that too. This, this is what I expected the south to be. Real nice sunny days like this. Still some chill to the air, of course, but very nice. Actually, from here I can actually do a bonus hill that I've never done, so let's go. This wind might kind of fuck up the experience, but I've already done this before. You guys have seen it. I could even just switch the clips and you wouldn't know, but I ain't. What's up dog? I mean cat. I mean elephant. I mean giraffe. I'm stupid. You're just gonna have to excuse that. <laughs> well what's up guys? So let me just update you on some more things that happened in my day. After I finished skating I just took a nice nap. Um, it felt good. Because <laughs> I'd be active almost all around the clock these days. I mean there's there's obviously my sleeping period but every time I'm not sleeping I'm walking, running, skating, training hard. You know, there's like multiple periods of intense exercise and it feels nice to just, to be done, you know? Like I said in a, my Snapchat video, which none of you guys probably saw, unless you're on my Snapchat, but only exclusive people are, okay? So what I said is, uh, um, let's see, active days make for rewarding nights. And that's so true, you know? Like, it's not like, all right, now I'm gonna get off my phone and go to sleep. It's like, oh, I finally get to sit down. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> all right, so um, this is December 8th, I believe. Let me double check that. Yes, day three in the wild. One of the best ones so far. So uh, after my nap, I hit up Neutral Corner Boxing Gym, like I plan to every day, even though I'm getting quite sore as a... Uh, I can't really work on my boxing too much because my hand isn't fixed just yet. But like I said, it's recovering super fast. So give it a week or two and I think I'll be back in it. I'll probably play on the side of caution. But uh, today was like uh, what I would call a really successful day because I got more involved with the community just like yesterday. Neutral Corner Boxing Gym has got to be the coolest place on planet Earth. Like I thought Street Beaks was the coolest place, but no. <laughs> Did you guys hear me poop? <laughs> Neutral Corner is like behind the scenes street beefs, if that makes sense. It's where everyone goes to train, just grind it out, dude. The energy in there is amazing. Everyone's tight, homies, and 
and uh, champions. I'm in the presence of champions when I'm training, and that's not something I get very often. It's very inspiring. It's like that guy's going ham over there doing his thing. I'm aware of him, you know. So maybe he sees me too. So let me just let me show him what I got, you know. Let me feed his energy. Let me feed their energy and watch it come back to me. You know, that's why I love gyms so much. It's like, that guy's going hard, but watch me go harder. <laughs> like I said, it was very, very cool. And um, aside from the workout itself, which was amazing, I got more and more involved with the community, as I said. And uh, I met all sorts of faces, Wolfman, Demon Monsoon. That's really like the main step for today, I think, is uh, I finally really got to meet that guy. I've been, uh, I talked to him a little bit, because whenever I was initially looking into this idea, uh, my friends told me I should hit up him, Demon Monsoon, uh, and ask if they have a spot for me to stay. And uh, I did message them, and they said, maybe we'll have something. It was a little wishy-washy, and obviously that makes sense to me. But, you know, nothing ended up happening as far as a place goes. And, of course, that's more than fine with me. It's hard to, like, just welcome a stranger into your home when you haven't actually met them in person yet. Uh, so I got to meet him, and he's a really cool dude, and he, he thought I was pretty cool too. So what's up, dude, if you're watching this? Everyone else, what's up? <laughs> I want everyone to feel included on this what's up-ness. <laughs> so yeah, we became good pals, and he told me, uh, you know, maybe something could work out, you know? I've met two people now who said that there's potential places for me to stay, and like I've been saying, I don't want to rely on anybody. I'm ready to do this myself, and it's been successful so far. That's my bed right there in the back. <laughs> but if it's possible to escape this winter, maybe I will. But there is something very zen about the way I'm doing this in particular. I would save even more money, though, if I could cancel my Planet Fitness membership. Wouldn't have to pay for cell service. Many advantages would come from having a place to stay. And honestly, for me, it's more like, it's not so much like camping out or meeting people so I can hang. It's like, it's like I feel like I'm being warmed, warm welcomed into a family. Like, like I'm really a part of this. People want to know me. People want to introduce their friends to me. And that's just so cool, you know? It's like, I feel like famous is the word I always use when I talk about my goals or my ambitions. Like... I'm gonna be famous, and it really feels like it's happening, you know? Started with Canterbury, evolved to Brooklyn, CT, uh, now famous in Winchester, that's what I'm going for. Famous all across the world, Street Beef's legend, that's what I want. Maybe not even necessarily just for my skill, although I think that's a viable. <laughs> but just for my involvement and relationships with the people involved, which... I don't know. It's just so beautiful. I've never been a part of something like this before. Like a, a community, it feels like. You know, like back at home, I just stay out of my way. You know, out of other people's way, too. You know, but but here, everywhere I go, every time I talk to someone, street beef person or not, it's like I, I give it my all in the interaction because I'm like, I'll never see this person again. Let me make sure I leave them with good vibes, you know? Waffle House employees, I got you, homies. <laughs> You know, every single person I talk to, I just want to make them smile or, like, be aware that I'm a real human and I want them to know that I know they're a real human with feelings and thoughts and dreams and struggles and all that good shit, you know. I'm all saucy and sonder like that. <laughs> and vocabulate as well. <sighs> so, yeah, those are basically the updates. I feel like... I'm really growing something here, growing into a part of something and and taking it to a place where it's never been before. I could change the world. I could change everything, starting local. Now it's uh it's just winding down hours for me, time to calm down, time to stay chill, just relax in my car, get uh just get in my mummified sleeping bag. I don't know what else to say, guys. I'm sure I say this multiple times in every video, but I just want you to make sure you really live life out there, you know? Like, everyone's just like, poof. Like, here we are. These are the things we gotta do. These are the things we need. How do we do them? You know? How often do you really just, like, completely shatter the patterns of your life and engage in something brand new? 
Like, this is a brand new life for me. It's only been three days out here, four or five days out here, but... But this is completely unique, you know? Like, no school, no Walmart even. I do plan on going back, and I will need money again eventually. I, I, I know this much, but... <sighs> Boy, damn, it feels good to be free. Damn, it feels good. America's the best place on Earth. I guess I wouldn't know any different, so... I won't speak for all you Switzerland fans. <laughs> Alright, well. That's it for my uh, sentiment for the night. Hope you guys are enjoying. And uh, today my fight came out. Yes, fucking finally, dude. My fight video got released today. I watched it like four times. Posted about it. Everyone should be watching that fight. Everyone should have seen that fight. And if you are watching this far into the video and haven't seen the fight... Go fucking watch it. Search Street Beefs, Sam the Dingus. It's Sam the Dingus versus Flash. My first and maybe only boxing match, but, you know, maybe maybe one time I'll do it again. Definitely more of an MMA guy, though. It's very violent, I've, I've discovered. <laughs> Guess I knew that from the start, but, you know, sometimes I just see some shit at Street Beefs, and I'm like, whoo, whoo, I'm glad I'm done fighting for the day. <laughs> I was the first fight of the day as well. It's very cool. Okay, like I said, good night, everybody.